Kabam, we're back. Rob Gutkowski, 99 overall, powered all the way up. Ultimate legend. How good is he? We're gonna go through it. If you guys want more reviews, hit the like button. It lets me and it lets YouTube know. And if not, we can always find something else to do on the channel that will be fun. Rob Gutkowski plays quite different than other tight ends for sure. You can start with his strength. 91 strength is pretty crazy for a tight end. Um, matchup nightmare and abilities like that is great. He gets a lot of good abilities. So that is definitely a plus. He gets four slots. That's definitely a plus. Um, I will tell you the 87 agility, it's it's not going to feel good. He, he does not move and zigzag like you would want. But like I said, he's a different type of player with 91 strength. 91 speed stock, it's it's kind of slow right now because a lot of the, the upper tier teams have 99 speed at all their linebackers and safeties and corners. and I mean, they're getting crazy fast, right? They've been crazy fast for a while. But um, that's also not what we're gonna use them for. So the 96 catching stock, He's not going to drop balls open, for sure. Don't worry about that. And um, the pass blocking is a little better than you think. Because um, he does have 87 impact blocking as well. So he's going to be a guy you could potentially put a wide receiver and use his blocking on the edge if you run that kind of scheme. He could be okay for that because he does have quite a bit of strength. His pass blocking is a 79. Um, so, I would tell you he's quite different for sure, uh, but what's going to separate him also is if he gets route running up a little bit, he's going to be over the 90 threshold and he's going to get good separation, but the separation is not going to be super elite because of the speed um, not being super elite, but for this review, I did like this card. Is he worth 500k right now? No. Uh, just hold on. His price is going to drop. I do like that card art there. The free agent. Tampa Bay. That's pretty cool. Um, but as you see for this review. I do have him boosted up just a little bit. He does have 93 speed on my team. So do keep that in mind. Um, right now. Yeah. If you have the coins. And you need a tight end to go across the middle. And block. This might be your guy. If you have the coins, go ahead and go for it. But if you're asking me, what should I spend 500,000 coins on? This may not be it for you. But as we break down the film here, you're going to notice at the beginning of the video, he made some pretty crazy catches. And he really does not put the ball on the ground. Um, you can hit stick this guy, and he's like a truck. So, because you can hit stick them. You can truck them, hit stick them back. You can truck them <laughs> and punish them. So, um, that is pretty cool. And um, not ever going to drop an open pass. Do keep that in mind. He's going to be reliable. Across the middle, reliable. So third and fourth down, you give it to him. Catching traffic is an A-plus, guys. And he does tiptoe there to get it down. Um, wide open. But third and fourth down, guys, you can throw him the ball. He's going to be consistent for you. Rowling is an A. Not an A-plus because his speed doesn't get that much separation. But he does have better, better route running than like the Waller card. So, but like I said right there, he maybe could have been gone if he had top tier speed. But his move is a B plus because he can truck and step arm, but he cannot juke and spin. So do not try that. Do not expect that. If you do rely on that, I would stay away from this card. The spec catch is an A minus. He does better than most cards actually. But there is some inconsistent. Don't think you can just throw it up and do that. You will lose the game. Overall, he is an A minus for what he does. As always, guys, help others for no reason. Um, there's enough hate in the world, and positivity spreads and helps other people for sure. When you compare him to Tony G, I will tell you that his blocking is a big difference. If you want to put them on the outside of the block for your running backs, that's going to be the biggest difference between these cards. And he's only one inch shorter, but yeah, 
I would probably pick Gronk over him. Gronk, I believe, gets better animations overall for sure. And when you compare him to other like tight ends, like coming up here, Waller, they're just gonna be completely different tight ends, right? Uh, he's a speedster. You can get Waller way up there in speed, um, but the route running and the blocking's not there. And I can tell you, Gurkowski definitely catches better in traffic. Even though Waller's great, Waller's on my team right now, and he's gonna stay on my team. Waller's been my tight end for a very long time, and he's great. So go pick him up as well. But as always, guys, thank you for the views and the likes and the comments and the retweets and the shares and telling your friends. I do appreciate that. Let me know what you guys want to see next, and I'm going to try to get that out. And all right, guys, I will see you in the next video. And him versus Shannon Sharp, he's quite a bit better than Shannon Sharp for sure. I will see you later.